Warning, this post contains spoilers from the season finale of Hulu's Little Fires Everywhere. In the end, there were three fire starters. Or four, depending on how you look at it. In the Little Fires Everywhere finale, Mia and Pearl left Shaker Heights in their rearview, but their exit meant the town would never be the same. Facing a world without Mia, Izzy hit her breaking point. She started dousing her room with gasoline before her brothers and sister stopped her. But when Elena found out what her youngest daughter had done, she, too, broke. After Elena screamed that she never wanted Izzy in the first place, Izzy followed in Mia and Pearl's footsteps and left town. And with her exit, the Richardson children decided to finish what she started. Together, they burnt down their family home. To discuss the hour, EU spoke exclusively with series stars and producers Reese Witherspoon and Kerry Washington. Entertainment Weekly, how did you all decide on this ending, which of course isn't exactly what happened in Celeste Ng's book? Reese Witherspoon, we had a lot of conversations about how we were going to end it. Carrie Washington, I think there was a desire, and I don't even really know where it emerged, to play with the ending a little bit so that there could be surprises for people who loved the book, but to do that while still honoring the reality and the truth that Celeste Ng was getting it in the book. So we kind of swung a lot of different directions and played with a lot of different ideas about what it could be, but this was the one that felt like it was both a fun twist for people who loved the book but also was still walking in the footprints of Celeste's vision. I know there was a lot of discussion surrounding Alina's scream when she yells at Lexi. What made it such an important moment? Witherspoon, we had a lot of conversations about it, like more conversations than I've ever had about any scene I've ever done in any project ever in my whole life. Laughs, we just set this character up in a way that it was necessary. It had to all culminate into something. It was us looking at the whole piece and going, what would motivate these children to do something so outrageous? I think when you think your mother has lost control or you finally see that part of your mother that is very human and almost monstrous, to use Mia's word, the children act out in a way because of it. It was really about taking all of the pieces that we wanted to get to and try and get there. And I just kind of lost control. Laughs, which happens sometimes on sets.